hey, what's up, you guys? Oh no, 27 degrees this morning. It is cold. It is cold, you guys. I'm not even gonna be able to pressure wash if I wanted to because the water's gonna freeze up just like it did on Thanksgiving day when I tried to wash my car that morning. The water froze up in the hose. So I don't know what is gonna have to be done this morning, you guys. As I'm heading to the tractor, look at all the Canadian geese out there, you guys. They are strung all the way across the field there, huh? Whole herd of them. <laughs> But anyway, look at those nice and armor tires, you guys. Woo, they're shining nice and bright. Man, I'm trying to tell you who came out here last night and armor our tires. They're so shiny. They look nice and good, don't they? <laughs> Man, you guys, so since it's 27 degrees and we can't pressure wash, uh, Dan suggested that I put some some carb and choke cleaner on the windows to get the hydraulic fluid off of there. It'll help cut through that grease until we can uh, pressure wash it. Now for the cultivator, it's just gonna have to stay like this as well. It'll get washed whenever we get a chance to, but I gotta get it looks like off of the back window as well there so we can see. Maybe the dirt will act as an absorbing agent on the hydraulic fluid. <laughs> It'll absorb some of it. Oh, it's gonna make the tractor look a hot mess, but uh, we can't pressure wash it right now. So we gotta do what we gotta do, you guys. Let me get to it. Ooh, even the tractor starting up this morning sounded like it was a little chilly, but man, look at, look at the windows. You can't see nothing. You can't hardly see anything out of these windows, you guys. That'll change, hopefully, in a few minutes. Check back in, all right? Okay, you guys, this window over here is like nearly impossible to clean. It has so much on it. The back window, it's a little better, but I think it's still gonna take a couple of times of it getting dirty and cleaning to get it off. This is like still saturated. And uh, I spent a lot of time and paper towels trying to get it cleaned off. So we're just gonna do the best that we can, you guys. I do believe the dirt will help get it off as well. But I probably won't be cultivating for long today, you guys, because I'm going to have to help Dan work on the combine. So probably going to be short-lived anyhow. <laughs> Windows not too bad, you guys. Well, the back one is a little worse than the others. But uh, I got through with that other field. I'm about to start in this one now. So... Uh, Hey, I guess we're just gonna keep on moving right along, you guys. I know you can't see out the dirty window because this done got dirty from the dust that's stirring up. I'm just now thinking about it now, you guys. Them Canadian geese are probably out there eating the rice seeds. So we gonna have to run them off, man. Cause they still out here in this field and they are not budging. Usually they'll be done flew off with the noise, but that's what they gotta be doing over there eating. So we about to go over there, you guys. We are about to go over there. Uh-uh. I'm gonna bump it up in the high speed. Get out of here. That's right, fly away. Okay. Man, they probably was feasting good, you guys. You probably can't even see them because of the glare of the sun. So I'm gonna go wipe off this back window. I would hit the windshield wiper, but I don't wanna smear it if it's not gonna wipe too good. So yeah, let me do that so I can see what's going on behind me. You guys, that dirt really did help absorb some of that hydraulic fluid. It really did. It's not very uh, wet back there anymore. But I'm sure that it's still going to accumulate dirt as always. So I'm getting the ends done on this field now, you guys. The sun is shining in the water all pretty there. Woo, that's a dirty windshield. Let me wipe it. Oh, that's much better. Much better. It's getting it clean with the windshield wiper now. I guess we're gonna work on bare field now, you guys. All right, you guys, so Rudy over there, he needs to fill up. So I'm about to have to take a walk 
way over there to the truck where I parked this morning where I broke down yesterday and had to walk over here. All right, you guys, we're going to take our journey on over to the truck. <laughs> Put Pat and Charlie to use again. I wonder if I want to actually walk across all this soft stuff, man. Man. Ah. I guess we'll make it after a while. <laughs> you guys that took two minutes and 40 seconds <laughs> and so we got two more bags loaded in there one bag left. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need some more seed. That's not gonna finish it all. But anyway, I guess we're gonna get back to it, you guys. Interesting, you guys. It is currently 60 degrees. And it is one, 110 right now. That's crazy. 27 this morning is 60 now. All right, you guys, I'm looking at a line back there. It's a consistent line where it's not loving it like I want it to I need to make sure that it's not dragging up something back there and uh oh man this track is filthy oh man that's what I was expecting though Look at the filth. <laughs> Great day. Anyway. There's a line right here. Where it's not filling up that place. And it's real deep right there. The cultivator has a, a coating of dirt where the hydraulic fluid blew everywhere. But I saw the line, here it is, right there. And that's where the tire is, okay? So maybe that's why it's leaving that line because of the tire. And sometimes that peanut hay, which is actually the peanut bushes, we call it bushes hay, whatever you like to call it, gets hung up on the on the shank there and it can leave a, a line as well now when we first started cultivating for the second time Dan and I let the teeth right here we let them freely come back a little more so that they won't bunch up as much hay but now we might need to push them back forward so that they'll begin to level a little bit more but then too we don't want those teeth to drag up the hay which is what it was doing in the beginning so I don't know it's not doing it all the way across the field it's just certain places I'm thinking maybe where the hay is the strongest at in the um, in the field there what oh, look at this tractor man. <laughs> oh man anyway I'm gonna keep motoring along, keep an eye out on it. Oh man, you guys, I thought I was gonna finish Bearfield. I ain't got much right here before I take lunch, but uh, this thing just made a noise, like the sound on my GoPro when the battery's about to die. We about to be out of diesel fuel, you guys. So I'm gonna have to stop before I uh, finish this fuel. And when I take lunch, I'm about to get the fuel tank. Oh, that's a dirty windshield. That's better. Four all the way. Oh my, you guys. There's only two in there, that's okay.
<laughs> I had to check with Dan and Danny to make sure that these two were mine, you guys. So, yes, we have some Melvin's burgers, you guys. Oh, my. And I have to thank Becky, Danny's wife, for going to get us some Melvin's burgers, you guys. Woo! Look at there. I got to warm it up first, though. Ah, oh, yeah, now it's nice and warmed up, you guys. Ready for our eating. Would you like a bite? All right. Whoa, wait a minute. I missed your mouth. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You want to try again? Here, have a bite. Mmm. Huh? Mmm. 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 Mm. I guess I don't want none, huh? All right. I'll eat it all to myself then. Thanks. Mmm. Good down to the last bite. Mmm. 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 Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, you guys, I'm gonna knock out both of them right now. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry I can't share any with you. I know your mouth is watering. Don't worry, I'll enjoy it for you. When somebody asks you what you have for lunch today, you can say two Melvin's burgers. Mmm. They were good. They were good, weren't they? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you guys, we got our bellies full. Now it's time to get the fuel tank full. All right, you guys, we got fueled up, and I was sitting there talking to Rudy. He has stopped for a little while because he's gotten a good ways ahead of me, and I uh, don't want to get too far, so he's going to wait on me for a little while. I doubt I catch up to where he needs to even start spreading again, but I guess we'll see. Well, we got done with bear field now we're entering beaver dam field at the ponds all right you guys i'm about to get ready to wrap this video on up i must say today was a, a much better day and i did see in the comment section yesterday where you guys were praying that we would have a better day today so thank you for your prayers the bible says that the effectual and the fervent prayers of the righteous avail of much so guess what you are the righteousness of god in Christ Jesus and your prayers matter your prayers are effectual they work so I appreciate you guys for your prayers all right <laughs> I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching on the day if you did make sure you smash that like button for us go ahead and join the team and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know whenever a new video is on the scene all right so you guys stay blessed you guys keep encouraged and as always We'll see you in the next one.